I'm going to go with a guy that we've been talking about, and that's uh, Shaquem Griffin. Now, we know what he's done in the combine, but let me take you back to his college career over the last couple of years. He had 18 and a half sacks, uh, over 33 tackles for loss. So the questions will be, going into his career, you know, can he do what he needs to do as a defender in this league to tackle, to make plays, to pick up balls, intercept balls with the hand? He did that on a collegiate level. He weighed in at 227, six foot one, and of course, he ran that 4-3-8. At that speed, you can play any position when it comes to dominating the line of scrimmage, playing linebacker, and of course, there's something we are not talking about, special teams. As a rookie, it's all about the more that you can do. So we'll continue to talk about him making plays on the quarterback, running backs in the backfield, even dropping back in the coverage. But can you imagine a guy with this size, this speed, running down on kickoff, running down on punt, blocking on punt return and kickoff return, field goal block. This is a dominant player and he's going to play for a long time. So for all the reasons we will talk about him and his story and looking at him as a charity case, I said this in the first hour, this ain't no charity case. This is a football player. And during the combine, we look for football players. Guess what, NFL? We found one. Job, Nate. I think we're getting very, very close with him to the point where we never mention his disability. Yeah. And that's the best compliment we can give him. It's obviously novel now. It's interesting. But he keeps putting up numbers like this. Depends where he goes in the draft. We don't even have to mention it. There's a lot of times something becomes a combine story. And then sometimes it bleeds into being an NFL story. We're like NFL players. Then from that, it's a sports story. And yep. It leads all the shows. And then it's like a national story. This kid right now is a national story. He was the number one trending topic on Twitter. I'm sure all the morning shows, after their Oscars talk, talked about Shaquem Griffin. Yeah. I'm so happy for him because this is a kid who a lot of people probably wrote off when this injury happened. When, not injury. When he was four years old and right. had the amputation. He never stopped believing in himself. His brother never believed in stopped believing in him. I love, love, love this story. I'm rooting for him. It's a great story, and it didn't just happen that he, oh, he has this great count by now he's on the map. This was a transcendent player last year, an extraordinary player throughout his college career. So remember that, as that'll clearly factor into him being bumped up those boards.